Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today we're going to talk about how you can max out your mods free of charge with one simple item that everyone has now gotten in the game of Warframe. That's right, that is a legendary core. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you go to your inbox, you should have the Warframe community team thank you Tenno, and then you get a legendary core. So a lot of people have literally no clue what a legendary core is, and honestly, can't really blame them. I think you get one legendary core for hitting MR30 or maybe 31. You, other than that, get none throughout the game. Other than if you run weekly sorties and weekly Archon hunts, you have a, I think like 0.8% or something, 1% drop rate of legendary cores. And you can read exactly what it does. Consumed in the fusion process to power up an existing mod, a single legendary core will instantly fuse a mod to its maximum capacity without credit cost. So it's a free max level upgrade on a mod. And like I said, you can get them very low chance. Sorties, legendary drop, legendary core. And Archons, legendary drop, Archon, or legendary core, sorry. And then you guarantee you get the Archon shards. So, that's legitimately the only way to get it. You can trade them. You can sell them to other people for platinum if you want. That's why you've probably seen a lot of people saying things like, oh no, the market's in shambles. Warframe ruined the legendary core market. Warframe crashed the legendary core market. It's because they did, but it's not really a big deal. So that's how you can get legendary cores. I don't think they show up in your inventory. A lot of people have been like, where, where is my legendary core? I think it shows up in your mod section when you're modding, but yeah, it does not show up in your actual inventory inventory, which is kind of like a weird Warframe setup because they separate mods like that, right? So if you ever are kind of curious if you have a legendary core, you have to go in here. You have to go into your mod section and you might still see like, oh, it doesn't actually say anywhere that you have a legendary core, which is like bad game design, let's be honest here. You might be looking around, it's not in Ayatin Treasures, it's literally nowhere other than when you go to upgrade a mod. So if I look at any one of my Prime mods, right, let's look at uh, Prime Bane of Corpus, you can see like it's not here, you have to go to Fusion and then boom. This is where you can check to see if you actually have a legendary core. I know it's a bad like mechanic of where they hit it, but yeah, here is where you have your legendary core. You simply click on that and then you can fuse a maxed out mod instantaneously. Let's find a better, I guess, probably most of my mods that I need to max out and level are straight up just yeah, they're just straight up like the random ones. Prime deadly efficiency, right? Like, nothing I really need. So let's just go primed mods. I have most of them maxed out, but there you go. Max this out with a legendary core. Now my damage to corpus will go through the roof, right? Clap, 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 clap. So this is really just all you have to do. And then it uses the legendary core. Fusion complete. There you go. If we check warframe.market, we can see that a lot of people have probably been trying to sell it and then the price of legendary cores have dropped just an absolute ton. And I think they're called legendary fusion cores on warframe.market, I don't know if they still are, but if you look at the historical pricing of it, it's gone down a ton, right? Because people would try to sell them like 110, 115, 120-ish and then since everyone got a free one, it's just been nose diving. The volume has shot through the roof, right? Usually you'd have a medium of 80, 90, and then you have like three, four hundreds being sold here or on the market. So that's what's going on with the Warframe Legendary Core. I just want to have a small video chatting about that because a lot of people have been talking about it. So yeah, hope that helped max out a mod for free. I would always recommend using it on the high level maxed out primed mods, galvanized mods, and anything like that. Anything that is a high cost full ranked mod, but yeah, it's always up to you. You can sell it for platinum, you can do whatever you want. So let me know what you think. Sub like, use up games, creator code, pupsker. Cheers.